Morocco like, Father? Very old and very mysterious. Not like any place you're used to. It's a very different culture, son. Some of them still own slaves. Really? Gosh, dear, you're getting overly excited. No, but he Quiet, said... Quiet, Junior. It's time we were getting on board. Is it true, Miss Seymour? Let's go. Is it true that some of them really still own slaves? Come on, Henry, let's go. We'll what do they... And what exactly do slaves do? Let's go. My notebook. I've lost my notebook. My lecture for the Sultan. Oh, thank you, dear. If I'd really lost it, I'd... You'd have worried the whole way to Wetsan. How far is Wetsan from Tangier? Oh, about 75 miles. Now, in Tangier, we should be staying with a friend of mine, Walter Harris. Walter and I were students together. Now he's correspondent for the London Times. In that case, he sounds a thoroughly respectable person. Henry, my dear fellow. Good to see you. May I introduce my wife, Anna? Hello. Uh, Miss Helen Seymour. And my son, Henry Jr. Delighted to meet you all. Well, this way, I have a carriage waiting. How's the crossing? Not too rough, I hope. The Mediterranean can be awfully unreliable. I've arranged something tomorrow which may interest you. Tea with the Sharifa of Jebel. The Sharifa of Jebel? Wasn't she? Emily Keane, quite right, Miss Seymour. Emily Keane is, or I should say was, an English woman. She came over here some years ago. And married a native. Well, it's, it's a bit more than a native. The Sharif was descended from Mohammed. People revered him. Oh, she's a remarkable woman. I'm sure you'll like her. Sorry, will not make me presentable for tea. I'd be killed up in the saddle. Talk! Talk! How many animals can look? Fearful! I'll have to lay away the pool. I'll be slept. I can't imagine how Emily Keane could give up England for this less civilized country. I think it's very romantic to give up your country for the man you love. Muhammad Rasul Allah. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. This is beautiful. A far cry from London, but it has its charms. Mr. Harris. Sharifa. May I introduce to you Professor Jones? We are honored to meet you, Sharifa. How do you do? Mrs. Jones? It is always pleasant to meet Americans. Henry uh, Junior. Oh, <laughs> hello. Hello. Uh, Miss Helen Seymour. And of course, a fellow countrywoman. And you know Sheikh Es Sali, the Sultan's emissary. Welcome back to my humble home. Please come in. We will have tea. Lovely. Uh, Junior, leave the lizard outside. Yes, Father. And uh, try and stay out of trouble. Hmm? Yes, Father. The Sharifa introduced English tea to this country, and I, for one, am extremely grateful. <laughs> Mrs. Jones, how do you like our country? Oh, it is fascinating. The religious prejudice is a little unnerving. I'm afraid we were victims of spitting from a less open-minded Muslim than our friend Mr. Es Salih here. 
There are a few zealots, I'm afraid. I'm very sorry. If you don't mind my asking, Sharifa, did the people object when the Sharif married a Christian? Yes, they objected. But when we married, he told them that if they ignored me, they would be ignoring him. That they could not do, because he was very powerful. So the Mohammedans accepted me, partly because of my husband, but partly, I think, because I did not try to force my views or religion on them. As many Europeans try to do. Perhaps you will allow Omar to take Henry to the garden. They can play there. Oh, if it would be no trouble. Omar. As you bid. Run off some of that mischief, Junior. We have a long trip ahead of us. Yes, sir. Okay, catch. Ah, oh, good one. What a catch! All right. Mr. Harris and Mr. S. Charlie are for self-rule. What are your feelings, Sharifa? Who better to rule a country than one of its own people? My dear Professor Jones, if you have the ear of the British or the French, please tell them that. <laughs> I do not have the ear of any government. I am simply a professor. Oh, three to zero. You better score or I win. Do you wish me to score? I want to win. As you wish. Wait, wait, wait. I want you to try and score, but you don't have to be all polite and let me win. As you wish. Oh, what a three. Yeah, you speak English pretty good. Where'd you learn? School? I do not go to school. We speak English to please the Sharifa. <laughs> you don't have to study? You're lucky. As you say. Our country is making headway at its own pace. You must not judge it by English standards. Are the horses ready? Yes, Joshua. Ah, let me guess. For the Sultan? A small bribe to help ensure that my health programs may be continued. You will present it, please. My pleasure. Well, are we all ready? We have many miles to go before nightfall. All set, I believe. It was lovely to spend time with you. We will do it again when you return. <laughs> It's time for us to go now. Right now? No complaining, young man. Put your jacket on. Will there be anyone in wet sand for me to play with? I don't know, sweetheart. I'm afraid we haven't found many playmates for Henry on our journeys. Oh. Would you like Omar to travel with you to be young Henry's playmate? If he would like to. Omar. You will accompany young Henry to wet sand and be a good companion to him. Prepare for your journey. Don't get too comfortable. Bandits roam these parts, ready to steal anything from a fine horse to a gold tooth. You've got to be on your guard. You know, Omar, this place looks like Egypt. What is Egypt? It's a country. Does not every place look like this? Nope. Switzerland's got mountains, and Russia's got snow. I do not know snow. It's what happens to rain when it gets really cold. It kind of falls out of the clouds in little white flakes. Does everyone in Russia catch snow? Well, no. They kind of let it fall on the ground, so... So everywhere you look, you'll see snow. Every place is different, see? Here's a map. A map? Yeah. It's like a picture of the world. See? There's Egypt. There's Russia. I will never see Russia or Egypt. You should try. I had a friend that rode around Egypt on a bicycle. I even went on an archaeological dig with him. I'm going to be an archaeologist when I grow up. What is Archoist? Archaeologist. 
It's like someone who travels around the world looking for lost civilizations. So what are you going to be when you grow up? A slave. No, no, no. I mean when you grow up. A slave is born into his life. He cannot leave it. I have no choice but to give him a double first. <laughs> Henry, dear, you're so quiet. You must be very tired. No, I was just thinking. About what? About Omar. Andy, don't worry about your friend. He's, uh, he's well treated, well fed and clothed. If he were a peasant and had to earn his own living, life would be much harsher. He is better off as a slave. I do not believe anyone would trade freedom of choice for a roof over their head, no matter how lovely the roof. You are in a different culture, Miss Seymour. The human spirit remains the same everywhere. Slavery was accepted through most ancient civilizations. Not having slaves is a relatively new idea. What if Omar doesn't want to be a slave? Henry, that is what slavery means. He has no choice. The Sharifa can sell him as she could sell a shoe or a necklace or anything else that belonged to her. That makes him property. He can be stolen. And that brings on what I think is the, the true problem with slavery, the kidnapping. Kidnapping? Bandits kidnap slaves and we sell them in what is a, a thriving, if illegal, trade. Yes, nasty business. Nasty business. Hi, is there another brush? Yes. May I ask you a question? Cheaper, sir. No need to ask my permission. Ask anything, anytime. This rusher on your map. Yes. How do you get there? Well, let's see. Um, from here. Well, let's just check the map. All right. From here, you could probably take a boat through the Mediterranean Sea to the Caspian Sea and all the way up to Russia. This is the ocean. Yep. You know, there's more water than land in the world. Who owns the ocean? Why, nobody. And the ocean can take you everywhere. Thank you for answer. Omar, you don't have to bow around me. We're friends. Around me, you're not a slave, okay? Friends. Delivered us safely. My house awaits. Why are there big walls around it? To keep the bad guys out. Jeepers, does it work? Oh, no, 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 by no means. Jones, how would you describe that smell? Well, I don't know, really. I've always thought the city smells like incense and dead cats. What do you think? <laughs> oh, that's pretty disgusting. First one there gets a lemonade. Go! Get up! 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 Get Wish to play? Sure. I'm just gonna get signed in. I will set up gold between two benches. <laughs> okay. trying to protect my house, Cindy. Mr. Harris, 
I'm sorry, I didn't recognize you. You looked like an Arab. That's the idea. Haji, it's all right. It's only me. There's no intruder. Just a hungry, thirsty man who would like his biscuits and tea. Omar can help you prepare it. Why are you dressed like that? It's easier to move around the marketplace. An Arab can gather more information than a European. Holy smokes, are you a spy? <laughs> a newspaper man is not really a spy. No, I went to see a Grand Vizier, a minister for the Sultan. Unfortunately, he had offended the Sultan, so now his head is on a stick in the marketplace. He was unable to chat. Jeepers. His head is on a stick? Yes, you see, whenever anyone displeases the Sultan, he cuts their head off, salts it, and then the head is displayed to remind everyone else not to displease the Sultan. So, how exactly do you displease the Sultan? Oh, many ways. So you mean you could just, like, say the wrong thing? It's always advisable to think before you speak. Wow. Just a head and no body, huh? Were its eyes still open? The rock matksha. He stares but sees nothing. Oh, you have a talent for this language. Good for you. Say, what is that stuff in your face anyways? It's walnut oil. <laughs> Don't worry. Comes off with lemon juice here. So, a tea kun wedged? The shroop shikis? Will I join you for tea? <laughs> sure. <laughs> Shall we call the Sultan your highness or your excellency? I believe your highness is acceptable. Henry, now don't go outside the walls of the house. It's not safe. Why? Henry has no time to go exploring. He has three chapters of Latin to study. I'll test you when I return. Yes, Miss Seymour. <laughs> Mother. Yes, dear? Be very, very careful. You uh, don't want to displease the Sultan. Mr. Harris says... Uh, the Sultan is very generous with his foreign visitors. I'm sure there's no worry of displeasing him. Well, enjoy yourself while we're gone. Haji will be here if you need him. Ladies, the professor is anxious to give his lecture. Shall we go? You and Omar can go out and play in the garden after you finish your studies. says the head of a grand vizier's on a stick in the marketplace. Let's go see it. American is not safe in marketplace. I know. I dressed up like an Arab. Mr. Harris does it. He showed me. Even as an Arab, not safe. Many things can happen. Come on, I've never seen a salted head before. I mean, they don't do stuff like that in New Jersey. Because if I don't see it now, I'm never going to get the chance to see one. Come on, don't argue. We're just wasting time. As you bid. <laughs> I didn't mean it like an order. I want you to want to go. But I do not want to go. Well, don't say that. As you beat. Don't say that anymore. Come on, just let's go. It'll be fun, I promise. I don't worry so much. Marketplace, it is wise not to look into the eyes of anyone. I'm not going to look at anything except the dead head, all right? I promise. I wonder if it's got maggots crawling out of its eyes, or maybe vultures circling it, or maybe its tongue's all swelled up and hanging out of its mouth. Oh, you can't tell me you don't want to see this. I would like to see it. I knew it. I knew it. But we must be careful. If anyone talks to you, answer wrongly. Alar Akbir, Alar Aziz. Uh, Allah's great. Allah's good. In Arabic, not English. Hey, boom, 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 boom,
كاين كاين على راس بلوزير علاش بغيتي يا وليدي هو عمرو كل الدمايات ابا كابا يمكن من هنا ايوا شهر لي It is not here and it is late We should be to house before parents and Mr Harris to tell تتقلبوا على راس لوزير الكبير عرفتي فين كاين تبعوني Come on, let's go. It is time to go back. Oof. One quick look. Come on, we're already here. Tbani, tbani. Wahd al ras, the baqi bdemayat. Ha, huwa ghir fi dora. Tbani, tbani. What am I supposed to do? تهربوا مرة أخرى غادي نذبحكم ربطهم هنري 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 Henry isn't in his room. Well, he's probably playing with Omar. I wouldn't be surprised if he were hiding. He knows a Latin exam is on the agenda. <laughs> well, I don't think he'd be hiding. He'd want to hear about the Sultan. Haji, go and check the house and grounds. <laughs> Is it 
Paris? Damn. What? Mr. Harris! Mr. Harris! Mr. Harris, the boy is not in house. They must sneak out. Bring my hat and cane. I think I know where they've gone. Where? I'm afraid I made something I saw in the marketplace this morning a little too compelling to ignore. Indy was fascinated. Are you saying they went along to the marketplace? My hat. I'm going with you. No, I'd better go alone. He's my son. I'm going with you. Put your hand back. I know that here I'll ask. Was du du dreißer? Les deux. Was du du dreißer? Les deux. Un petit truc européen. Européen petit. Non. Non. Junior. Deux enfants comme ça. Et hier, où Un roi de Rajin, un doigt de cicatrice à Alpa, au Snim Rizin, à la tête de Bion Menina. What Je te le dis. Tu es la tête de Sué. Has he seen him What is he saying We can waste no time. Damn it, man, tell me what he said. Don't tell me I'm not coming, Harris. I am going with you. You don't speak the language, you don't know the land. You'd slow me down. Every minute counts. Trust me, it's better that you stay here. Then I'll go to the Sultan. Ask him for help. No, don't alert the Sultan. Henry, word travels fast. If the kidnappers got wind of it, the boys could be in trouble. They'd sooner destroy the evidence than get caught. Oh, my God. Are you saying that they might? Mrs. Jones. <laughs> I showed Indy how to use the makeup. I put the idea in his head. I will never forgive myself if I do not return your son to you. Please, bring him back. I got us into this. Be quiet. Don't let them hear you. Maybe if I tell them I'm American, they'll let us go. They would rather kill you so that you will not cause them trouble. Kill me? That's not good. We must hope a good and kind master buys us. I can't be a slave. I'm supposed to be studying Latin. A slave does not need to know Latin. Maybe someone will rescue us. No one knows where we are. We'll have to escape.
شمني مزيانين مزيانين بزاف Why does he care about my teeth? Because we have been stolen. What are they going to do with us? Sell us. So we're, we're not rescued? We are still slaves to be sold. We should pray now for a kind master. Now let's see him shoot. Oh, they're getting what? Delmar, tell me the truth. I was sold into slavery when I was born. I never knew my mother or my father. I never get to say goodbye. Ayo, 
really are. Mr. Hurst, are you here to take me to my parents? First, I want you to promise me you will never do anything as foolish as this again. I promise. It's real good to see you. I don't doubt that. That's so wonderful this guy is. Look at you. You know, you really have quite a flair for this. How do you know where to find me? Uh, this is the only place left in the country where slaves can still be sold. Come on, we mustn't keep your parents waiting any longer. What, what about Omar? No, no, it's, it's too risky. We're both in disguise. We have to get out of here. No. He could have left me in wet sand. He came back for me. Indy, Omar is a slave. Wherever he is a slave will make no difference. He's my friend. I won't leave him. I paid 400 real for you. I only have 100 left. That's not enough to buy Omar. We have to try. Please. <laughs> عشرين 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 سكون اخر سكون اخر 30 ريال 30 30 40 40 40 الله يرضى عليك تفضلوا يا سيدي تفضلوا زيدوا زيدوا 45 45 45 45 45 45 50 50 50 50 50 60 ريال 60 60 60 70 ريال 70 70 80 80 80 80 كابيل ما كاميوني حمق اه 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 اتقدم يا سيدي انت دير زياده دير زياده وتقدموا زيد اتقدموا زيد الله يهديك دير زياده وتقدموا زيد اتقدموا زيد الله يهديك الله يرفعه الله يسعدو خذ عليا هذا الشيء خذ عليا هذا يا حرام انا 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 Free. Is that true, Mr. Harris? You're going back to the Sharifa. That's where you belong. Yes, Mr. Harris. I'm forever in your debt. That's quite all right. Hang on, Indy. Run, Omar. Run, Sidi Jibu. Jibu. Thank you. Oh. 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 Welcome back. 
Was the Sultan pleased with your lecture, Professor Jones? Absolutely thrilled. <laughs> Thank you for asking. And did you all have a good journey? It was a journey which proved to be educational for everyone. And Omar, did you serve as a good companion to young Henry? Oh, yes, yes he did. Didn't he, Father? Wasn't Omar just the best companion I've ever had? He did everything I asked him to. Isn't that right, Father? Yes. Yes, that's true. Omar followed Junior's every whim. Very good. Omar, go inside and help with the cleaning. Yes, mistress. Omar, wait! Let me show you all the flowers that have bloomed since your last visit. So, maybe there'll be another salted head someday. <laughs> I hope you get to be an archaeologist. I hope you get... Well, I, I hope I see you again. Yes. Maybe I could uh, show you the mountains of Switzerland or New Jersey. Or the ocean. Yeah, the ocean. That'd be good. Indy, you have given me dreams to dream. It is not my place to see or to go like you. But now, at least I have dreams. Here. Take this. It is your map. No, I'll just... I'll make another one. Thank you. I must go back to my duties. Indeed. No, no, Omar. Friend, shake hands. <laughs> <laughs>